kids.exe. 9. Edit. I was at school, it was a day in May, you could read it from the calendar in my class, the sun in the center of the sky made the atmosphere so pleasant that it was impossible to think that something could turn it into the classic bad day. I was sitting at my desk, isolated from the rest of the class, near a window where you could admire the schoolyard. I watched the harmony of that day for so long that I completely forgot that I was at school, until the teacher reminded me, in a very angry tone, of what I had forgotten. I could hear my classmates laughing at me and the professor kept reminding me how distracted I was in class. He punished me, said he needed to talk to me at the end of school hours, and in the meantime sent me to the principal's office. There were still a few hours left at the end of the time, luckily I had a Game Boy with me, I was given on my 12th birthday by my mother, I was more fond of him than I was to any person I knew, except of course my family members. I asked the principal if I could turn it on to have some fun, he made an exception and gave me the opportunity to play while waiting for the professor to come and talk to me. I turned on the Game Boy and started Super Mario Land, I had almost finished it and, since I had nothing to do, I continued the main story. The hours passed in the blink of an eye, I was so caught up in the game that I did not notice the professor who was watching me with incredulous eyes. I didn't know how long it had been there, I just thought that a severe punishment was going to be assigned to me, but I was wrong. I asked the teacher why she was looking at me motionless, she with a small smile exclaimed, at least when you play you can be focused, why don't you try to adopt this technique even at school? I looked into her eyes and said, well, if there was a subject dedicated to video games maybe I could have some good grades. The professor thought a lot about that sentence and after about 20 seconds of reflection, she assigned me a task regarding the video game environment, I had to make a report on a game that had to do with children. It wasn't my kind of video game, but at least it was the first time I could get a good grade in school, I was happy with it and went home impatient to start the search. It was 4 o'clock in the afternoon, on my way home I was thinking of some games that could be good for the relationship, but none came to mind. Meanwhile I arrived home, as usual I took a shower and went to my room. I turned on the computer, took the headphones, turned up the volume to the maximum, got a protocol sheet and a pen, everything was ready for the search. Not having a track to start from, I opened Internet Explorer and went to a forum about video games. In the search box I typed the word kids and clicked enter. The result was huge, about 10 pages each containing 24 discussions, not wanting to look I chose the first result, a discussion called kids.exe. The discussion was sparse, the creator had deleted himself from the database and the comments had been deleted, the only thing visible was the word download with a rather strange font, without hesitation I started downloading the game that weighed about 100 megabytes. It seemed strange to me that the game weighed so little, Initially I thought of an indie, but every track was possible since there was no information about the game. My curiosity grew and in the meantime the download ended. I opened the archive and immediately noticed that inside there was an executable and another archive.rar, this time protected by password. The .exe was named, in fact, kids.exe, while the protected archive was called story.rar. I didn't give much importance to the archive and started the executable. An inscription appeared at the time of opening, kids.exe, with a font made of pixels and red color. A little music went off and the screen went black. I didn't understand what was going on, I had a fairly powerful computer and so I immediately thought of a virus. I decided to wait and after about 5 minutes of black screen and disturbing music, the game finally started. The menu was composed of only writings and, once again, as a background there was that deafening music, it seemed almost infinite and over time it became more and more annoying and heartbreaking, so I lowered the volume of the headphones to a minimum so as not to hear it. The writings present were meaningless phrases, such as, my dream is to become a musician, or my dream is to become a musician. The clickable options were two new game and story. 
I tried clicking on story since my relationship was supposed to be based on the story of the game, but the game gave an error, it is not yet time. Since I couldn't access story, I started the game by clicking new game. With a slight fade it was possible to see the setting that was built around the silhouette of a child, dressed in blue. The graphics were very pixelated, in the background appeared a room, with a bed and a window. The gameplay was in the third person and it was only possible to use the W key to move forward. The setting was sad and gloomy, I advanced with W to the door and the door opened as if by magic. In front of me there was a staircase that led downstairs where it was possible to see a light, or the exit door. It almost felt like it was my home. I went down the stairs and hear that music started again, despite having the volume of the headphones at a minimum, I could still hear it perfectly, I began to ask myself questions, but I still decided to go ahead with the game. I went out the door and the music stopped, the screen turned black again, there was a fade again and, this time, the character was an adult, you could not see well, it was all black and even there the only possible command was the W key. I couldn't quite understand the setting, it was all black and the only thing that distinguished the character from the background was a slight white trace around the pixelated silhouette. I tried to move on and found myself in front of a piano, and as you can imagine that horrible music started again. I took off my headphones for a moment, completely forgot about the research, I was too busy with the game that I didn't realize the time I spent playing. I went to the bathroom and saw the time, it was 7 in the evening. I wondered how it was possible and, in disbelief, returned to my room. I noticed that on the screen the setting had changed, this time the black character was in a straight street, I put on my headphones again and went on. I spent a lot of time walking until I found myself in front of a child, I lost control of the player, who was advancing alone towards the child, the music became louder and you could hear heartbreaking screams in a loop. The character came close to the child and an inscription came out on the screen, press K to interact, I crushed K and saw a shocking scene, the character stabbed the child, those screams, it was as if it was really happening, that game was starting to scare me. After that scene there was yet another fade, the character was teleported in front of a house, it was identical to mine, and in front of the door was the child with whom we interacted at the beginning. I thought to myself, but what happens, it was too strange to be true, so I decided not to think about anything and to advance. Once again I lost control of the game, the character advanced towards the child and those screams were heard again, followed by the usual deafening music that accompanied the game. In that part of the game I didn't have the chance to interact, the game advanced regardless of what I wanted, and so, the dark character killed that child as well. The screen went black and the music stopped. An inscription appeared on the screen, kids. I was shocked and perplexed, meanwhile I was sent back to the main menu, where, however, there was only one option, story. I clicked on it and a message came out that said, enter secret word, that is, insert secret word, I typed kids and clicked enter. The game closed and I found myself in front of the initial archive containing the executable and the story.rar archive. I opened the archive and wrote the password. The file opened and inside there was a text document, I clicked on it and the PC crashed. It turned on again by itself and the screen was always black, the music of the game started and inside the monitor I could see my reflected face, an inscription appeared in red, Kim is dead story. Kim is my name, I was restless, the writing disappeared and on the monitor besides me there was another reflection, a black silhouette with a white trace. And here I woke up, that was the worst nightmare of my life, I tried to forget that dark character. A year has passed since that nightmare, and now I have finally forgotten that silhouette. I decided to write this story in my diary so that, if one day I get...